Hey everyone, so today we have here 1706 2017 MacBook Pro. So yeah, there's like a blatch over in this side. It's kind of hard to see, you can kind of outline it a little bit there. It's pretty much a cracked screen and there's a chip in the crack there. It's not only here for a cracked screen, that is one issue and it seems to also not be powering on. But he said he was able to turn on sometimes but there was always a problem on top of that. And it's interesting because it's it's unfortunate there is a cracked screen and you have to also do uh, logical repair. So let's just go ahead and see what our symptoms are. Let's go plug it up, plug it in, and just see if we can get any voltage or anything, see really what's going on with this one. We have a voltmeter here, and this is pretty much what it's going to do is it's going to show us um, if the laptop's getting voltage. So we're getting about 20 volts there, and 0 0.71, 0 0.9, 1.02. Okay. So we do have something going on here, and see here's a caps like lock, and when you turn on, you should be able to see that, especially if it's just a screen replacement. This thing is turning on, you'll see this light will come on. Um, I'll press the power button, nothing's really going happening, but we are getting 20 volts and we are getting one amp, which that's a good sign at least. So we're definitely uh, getting power into the laptop, and there's some for some reason we are not able to have any power. Uh, let's open it up and take a look. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, I didn't notice anything crazy. At well, least looking at it, just pretty very dirty. But until I look under the microscope, can't really tell, All right? Because you can't see anything really with your eye. See if there's any liquid spill or anything else like that. Now it's a very dirty board though. There's lots of uh, dust everywhere. There's a charging port here. Um, this is that Texas Instrument? I believe this is for the USB-C and the power button. Nothing looks out of the ordinary so far. It's just pretty dusty. Let's flip it over. Usually, where the problem areas are usually here. See, it's very dusty again. Is this your CD3215? Uh, this is an IC chip. It's really uh, important. Uh, we have a lot of other board repairs, uh, even our other previous video that we did pretty recently. Um, this one around this area had a liquid spill. This one has two sets of Thunderbolt, uh, two sets of USB-C ports on here. And speaking of actually, we should, we should go ahead and look at the USB-C, but let's just finish the, the board and we'll go look at the USB-C. Nothing crazy so far. USB-C ports. Two. Let's go ahead and check those real quick just to make sure they're healthy. So we have this one. Well, that looks beautiful. This that looks really good. That looks beautiful too. All right, this side looks really healthy. Let's check out the other one. That looks up. Oh. I don't know if there's really. Just a little bit. There, you see that? That's better. Okay. Flip it over. Ooh, what's that? I see something here. What's that? It's a little bit corroded there, isn't it? Looks like this is pretty much gone here. This trace is totally gone here. Okay. But still, um, this is definitely a issue. But it shouldn't be really impacting both sides. Alright, so I think I found our problem. And I have to remove the casing on this. So I'll go ahead and I'll watch and listen for this one. This is interesting. I'll try to turn it up. See that? Unplug that one. Plug it in again. You see that? It's pulsating itself. So, all right. So, what is this, and what does it do? It does seem to be a controller with the USB-C. And actually, if we go back to it, and I look at, there's this one chip number. So here at the bottom, there's very pretty hard to see, but it's JHL six five four zero. This is it. This is the, the JHL6540, and 
This one's going to be a little bit harder to find, but it does tell you exactly what it is. This is the IO controller interface for the IC of, uh, I believe this is a Thunderbolt, um, obviously for the USB-C. And that, that matches, you can see, oh, there it goes, IO controller interface that I see for Thunderbolt controllers. And it's Intel one, and unfortunately, they, I can't really find this part. Um, this one's a little bit more difficult to find, but if you go back to microscope, you can see really that's kind of what the issue is there. And we definitely need to get, it uh, looks like a replacement for this one. And this is, uh, you can see this actually was under a casing and that we actually had to remove. And uh, it is one of those uh, the, it is one of those BGA uh, components too. So we definitely need to find this one if we're able to do the repair. And on top of that, there's a cracked screen. And this is the same area that did have this damaged um, USB-C port. So this is the same one that had the damage over here. Definitely a good indicator because you can see uh, the damage there. Maybe there's some type of liquid or some type of little bit of corrosion there. It says we'll be discontinued by manufacturers end of life. So. And there is zero in stock on this website, but I'll try to see if I can find it around. And uh, if we get it, we'll definitely do a replacement for it and have a little bit of fun there. All right, so we are unable to find the JHL6540 um, Intel chip that we do need for this repair. But the only thing we really can do, and it's it's a long shot always, but we already did dip it through the ultrasonic and we can overflow the chip. So what the what's going to do is we're going to be putting some flux over it and then it's going to get underneath uh, that component there. Um, the only thing is without that chip, most likely the, the chip has been damaged a little bit beyond repair and you need to find a replacement. But this is just a last resort to see if there's any way we can get it ready to work. But we already did put it through ultrasonic and we'll see if this works. Unfortunately, uh, without that chip, without the JHL6540, without that, uh, we're not able to really do a, a complete repair for this one. We're, we're always limited to uh, what's available out there to us outside of uh, what we can do here, uh, especially if we need a part to be replaced. Some components are much harder to find than others, and there's, there's no place to really just always get every single component. So you can see even for, for, for one of the top uh, websites to buy components, this one isn't even available, and it says it's being discontinued. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Found this very informative, and uh, just kind of see the trials and tribulations that we do go through with repairs here. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.